Alexa, open the window. Alexa, close the window. Hey guys, it's Adrian or BHA here bringing you a new video. Uh, so as you probably already noticed, uh, the great folks over at Ivalines have sent me over the latest version, version 3, of their Smart Blinds motor. It's a Z-Wave product. It works amazing. Uh, so definitely jump over to their website and check out everything they have to offer, but we're going to walk through the whole setup today. Here we go. All right, so as you can see, uh, the version 3 iBlinds is available on their website for about 140 bucks. Now this will get you everything that you need uh, to set this thing up. It comes with a rechargeable battery, uh, which you only have to charge every five to six months. But if you spend an extra 20 bucks, you can pick up the solar panel, which will hang off the back of those blinds and automatically charge that battery for you. Pretty cool. All right, so first things first, let's start by unboxing the device. Once we do that, then we're going to, of course, get the blinds motor installed in our window. After that, we'll get it configured in SmartThings, because that's what I use for all of my Z-Wave products. Once that's done, then, of course, we'll also get it set up in Home Assistant. And lastly, I'll show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. All right, so as you can see, uh, iBlind sent me over a uh, version three kit as well as a solar panel to charge it. And we're gonna open all this up and see what all we get. So of course it has uh, everything included in the box here on the bottom as well as all the specifications uh, for this uh, setup. Let's see what we got here. All right, so of course there is the uh, motor here that we'll use to replace our uh, existing one. What else did we get? It's like a USB charger. That's how we'll charge the battery. As well as a USB stick, which actually this is a Z-Wave USB stick. This is pretty cool. Uh, we might actually be able to use this uh, with our home assistant set up to manage all of our Z-Wave devices. Uh, I may have to play around with that a little bit. Very nice. Uh, looks like some zip ties to kind of keep everything nice and clean. A power brick for our USB charger. And then, of course, there's the battery pack. We have a, a couple of different shaft options there. Depending on what type of blinds you have, you'll probably have to swap it out uh, for whatever size rod. Uh, some 3M tape to make sure everything is secured inside the blinds. Uh, looks like a uh, mounting bracket uh, if you need to alter the height of how uh, the motor sits inside your blinds. Uh, let's see here. This is our solar panel. Let's go ahead and open this up. And again, it comes with a couple of clips that are basically allowed to just hang off the back of your blinds. And that's pretty much it, guys. I'm ready to get this thing set up and install it in my window. All right, so as you probably already saw at the start of the uh, video, this is the window that I'm going to install this iBlinds configuration on. 
Um, this is my bedroom window, which already has my Zimmy Smart smart curtains. So this really will bring the whole setup together and allow me to control everything and it look very nice. As far as prerequisites go, the main thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that you charge the battery. Uh, so I suggest doing it overnight. Just kind of plug it in the night before you're going to do the install and make sure that you get a full charge. And based on their documentation, it says that you'll probably need to charge it every five to six months unless you get the solar panel, which will keep it charged regularly. All right, so looking at the first few steps here, obviously the first one is to just remove the blinds from our window. And then we're going to go ahead and do the first part of the installation. So here are the blinds, and this is the part that we have to remove. This is the existing uh, tilt motor, which uh, basically allows you to tilt the blinds whatever direction you want. So we're going to have to remove that along with that little tilt rod and replace it with the uh, eye blinds mechanism. And as you can see here, I've already got it set up. Uh, this basically will plug into that eye blinds motor. And it has a little button here that kind of replaces that tilt rod. So once everything is powered up, you'll be able to push that button and it will open and close the blinds. As well as a USB charger. If you didn't get the solar panel, you can plug in your, your USB cable right here ever so often to keep the battery fully charged. All right, as far as the next few steps go, you need to pick the right shaft that fits your type of blinds. And then of course, basically get it inside the blinds, run the rod back all the way through it and kind of tuck everything away into the blinds themselves. All right, so here I got my lovely wife helping me today. This is as much as she wanted to be in the video. So uh, she made sure that this was as far as it got. <laughs> Basically, we're going to unscrew this cover. And then we're going to pop out this rod and put in the correct one. Certainly check beforehand because you may have the one that you need already inside of the, uh, inside of the motor and you won't have to swap it out. For me, this one didn't fit, so we're going to take this out. We'll put in the correct one. Just make sure that you remember the configuration so that you can put everything back the way it's supposed to go. Everything looks good, fits back in there nicely. We'll put the cover back on and then just get everything screwed back in. All right, so as you can see, I've kind of gotten everything tucked away in here. I had to pull the rod all the way out, which I did not show initially because I honestly forgot about it in the first few steps. Uh, but I, you couldn't go any further without pulling that rod all the way out uh, to uh, at least as back as far as where you're going to put this motor so that you can, of course, uh, then run it back through. Everything is plugged in. Everything looks pretty good. For the most part, you just want to make sure that everything is out of the way of the tilt rod so that it's not going to catch on anything and cause any issues. And as you can see here, I've mounted the little brackets on the back side here that hold that solar panel in place. And then here it is back in the window. So there is the button there that you'll be able to use to open and close them uh, manually. And of course you can see the solar panel hanging off uh, facing the window there. Looks pretty clean. Let's move on to that next step and get it set up in SmartThings. When they sent everything over, they also emailed me all of the documentation, which included the SmartThings device handler that I'll need for this setup, which is great. Now, I'm not going to go through the full setup of adding in a new device handler to SmartThings. I've done it several times before in previous videos, uh, but basically you're going to log into your SmartThings IDE uh, from a web browser, go into the device handlers, and then of course you will add a new device handler. And at that point, you can copy this code that they send you, paste it in there, publish it for your setup, and you're good to go. All right, so the next few steps that we have are pretty simple. 
uh, you need to make sure, if you didn't already, uh, to turn that battery on. So it needs to be in the I position. I uh, actually forgot, so I actually had to pull the blinds out just enough uh, to hit that button before I set them back in the window. Make sure that's on. Uh, and there's two buttons towards the top. One of them which is labeled N slash X, I N slash E X, which basically stands for include slash exclude. You're gonna push that button three times. Uh, once you do, then of course uh, it will be in pairing mode and you'll be able to get it added into your smart. So here I am in smart things. I'm basically gonna do a scan QR code they provided a QR code in the packaging, so I'll be able to just uh, point it at that and it should be able to add everything uh, as needed. It's making me go through setup. We're gonna put this in the bedroom, so we'll just uh, pick a, uh, let's see, we already have one defined, bedroom one, we'll just go with that one. I don't need to change anything else. All right, give it a second to find it. And there it is, eye blinds window treatment. Of course, we have the controls there to open and close it. Everything looks good. I think we are ready to move on to the next step. Let's get this thing added into Home Assistant. All right, of course, with all SmartThings devices, uh, it's super easy to get them added into Home Assistant especially uh, if you're using the SmartThings integration. Uh, basically, we don't even have to reboot uh, SmartThings setup anymore. If you go to where it is listed in your integrations here, you hit the little three dots, you can choose reload right there and it will reload the uh, devices and uh, set everything up for you. I've already done that, but we'll go ahead and do it anyway. Click on the uh, devices here. And of course, I've called mine Master Bedroom Blinds. There they are. Comes in as a cover. You have the ability to open and close them. So pretty simple setup here. And that is pretty much it. One thing that you will need to note uh, from both, at least for smart things, as well as Home Assistant, open uh, is pretty much considered to be at the 50% position. Uh, so if you have it at zero or 1%, it's a uh, basically all the way one direction. If you go all the way to 100%, it's all the way the other direction. So if you want them open, it's gonna to go to 50%. So just something to keep in mind as you're uh, playing around with it and everything. All right, let's go ahead and move on to that last step and see it in action. All right, so of course here we are uh, on the top corner here. I've got my uh, blinds. Down in the bottom is a uh, home assistant. We're just gonna go ahead and hit the uh, up arrow which will open them. And as you can see, it's pretty uh, instantaneous so it happens pretty quickly. Not much of a delay there. We'll go ahead and hit the uh, close. And boom, that is it, guys. And just as an added deal, like I was saying before, if you go all the way to 100, it will go the complete other direction. So as you can see, works pretty good. But that's the setup, guys. Super easy to install. I mean, this literally took me maybe uh, an hour or so. Uh, so very easy to install. And I mean, the longest part of this whole setup was basically charging the battery. So you cannot beat that. Definitely worth the price uh, that they're selling them for to get this thing added into your windows. This is awesome. But that's the end of the video, guys. Again, if you haven't been over to iBlinds, jump over to their website, check out everything they have to offer. If I were you, I would spend the extra 20 bucks, get that solar panel so you don't have to worry about charging them because that is definitely uh, worth it as well. 
Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course, for starters, we unboxed the device. Uh, once we did that, then of course we went through and installed the uh, blinds motor in our window. After that, of course, we set it up in SmartThings. Then we got it added into Home Assistant. And lastly, I showed you what that looked like in action. As always, I want to thank everybody for donating to my Buy Me a Coffee link. Every little bit helps. If you haven't had a chance, jump over to the Teespring merchandise page and check out all the Burns Home Automation merchandise. And as always, if you're still looking for VPN service, take a look at IP Vanish. I have the link in the description below. Uh, definitely worth checking out their VPN service that they have to offer there. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around.